Okay, so Craig, there are many types of entity structures out there, which we've all heard and can be overwhelming to a founder. Can you give a brief overview of the most common types? Sure, I'd say the most common ones, uh, ranging from least complicated to more complicated would be a sole proprietorship, uh, a general partnership, um, corporation, either a C corporation or S corporation, and a limited liability company. Uh, a sole proprietorship, if, if, if one person just goes out and starts a business and you don't do anything, you're a sole proprietor whether you mean to be or not. Um, so that's, that's the simplest. Uh, it's not always the best though because you, you have personal liability for anything the business does. Um, second would be if, if two people go out and form a business together and they don't do anything, you know, don't register in any way, uh, you're a general partnership. Uh, a general partnership is, is you know, you, you can form it without doing anything, but it also has some disadvantages because uh, if there are two of you, you're both jointly and severally liable for everything the business does. So you're, you're kind of personally guaranteeing everything uh, that the business does, and most, most people don't want to do that. Um, it, it can also be complicated and a little more complicated in terms of decision making, um, structure, the taxes are, are a bit more complicated as well. Um, a corporation, uh, it's easy to form a corporation and there's some, there's some, you know, the, the state corporation statutes provide kind of default rules that apply unless you change them. So that's relatively straightforward. Uh, with a corporation, you do get limited liability. In, in many cases, you're not going to be responsible for debts of the business. Um, uh, on the, uh, you know, with, with a corporation, you can either be a regular C corporation where you, the corporation pays taxes and you don't unless you get wages or dividends, uh, or you can be an S corporation. An S corporation means when the corporation makes money, the shareholders pay the tax uh, rather than the corporation. So the corporation doesn't pay tax, the shareholders do. Um, that, you know, that, that's attractive to a lot of businesses. Uh, it's a little more complicated, but sometimes it's, it's better to form a, a limited liability company. Uh, a limited liability company gives you ultimate flexibility. You can arrange and you can structure a limited liability company to mimic pretty much any other form of entity. Uh, you have the limited liability that you have with a corporation. Uh, you have flexibility uh, and uh, you also, um, <clears throat> excuse, it, 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 as I said, you can arrange it in pretty much any, any different way. So you've got more flexibility, but the flexibility adds some complication. Uh, you need a little more detail in your organizational documents than you would otherwise. Um, you know, there, there are other types of entities out there, nonprofit corporations, limited partnerships, trusts. You don't see those very often, especially in the startup space. So it's, it's possible to use those, but those are a lot less common. Is there a more common one that, that a typical startup would start up with? Um, I, I, a lot of well, startups are generally going to be limited liability companies or corporations. And they're, they're, we'll talk a little bit more later about different types of corporations. But uh, yeah, corporations and LLCs are usually the most common. Um, and I'd say of, of the two, I, 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 I'd give a, the nudge to LLCs. I, I think LLCs provide a lot of flexibility. And uh, th those are probably the one that, that's usually my go-to if, if there's a startup business. Good. Okay. Thank you.